Okay guys, so I'm just stirring it up. You don't know what you do to me Between me and you I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced Say no one else, let me let you do That's why I don't mind to spend my life with you I wanna please you So here we have the pork um, already cut up, cut up and ready to be washed and seasoning. So you can see, so here I have some white vinegar. So I'm just going to pour it on top of the pork. I'm going to also add some lemon inside it and we're going to wash it We're going to give it about two wash and then we will come back when we're ready to season. Okay guys, so as you can see, the pork is washed and ready to season. You can tell the difference when you wash the meat because when you wash the meat with vinegar, you see less red. So you can tell if somebody wash their meat or don't wash their meat when they're going to cook it. So this is already finished to wash and ready to season. So here I'm going to add some complete seasoning to the pork. Some paprika. Some black pepper. Some grace browning you can brown your sugar if you want you know put it in the pot and brown it up with a little bit of oil and then add your meat to it you know old people style and we're going to add some allspice also inside it and with because I, I doing stew pork I need an int of you know jamaican jerk seasoning inside it to make it it have a little flair of um jamaica um jerk pork so i'm just going to add about a teaspoon to it it's very hot guys so you have to be careful if you don't like the pepper you can use the mild one because they have mild and they have the hot one and then i'm just going to take my hands and i'm just going to incorporate all the seasoning together you know rub it in like you're giving the the meat a massage a bath <laughs> a massage at the spa so we just going to rub that inside it and make it well seasoned put it down for one hour or you can do it the day before and leave it inside your fridge put it in a zip plat bag or cover it up and put it in your fridge and the next day you just take it out and then you cook it up but because i'm cooking it today i'm just going to leave it for an hour to soak for the season to soak inside it and incorporate and then we're going to cut this baby up look how beautiful that is yes and it smells so good and it don't even start cooking as yet okay guys so the pot has been hot with a little bit of vegetable oil so now i'm going to add the pork inside the 
You can add ginger to your stewed pork. It goes very good with ginger. But I forget to buy ginger, so I have to do it out today. So I'm just going to leave it like that open to catch its color, to fry up a little bit. And then after, I'm going to add just a little bit of water to it and cover it up okay guys so for the pork for the season for the pork here i have some onion some scallion some hot pepper some carrot some irish potato some thyme we have red red bell pepper green bell pepper and we have some fresh garlic and we're going to use all of this for the pork to cook it down to give it some good flavors so Meanwhile, the pork, they're cooking. We're going to cut up all these vegetables to add to it. So I'm just washing the carrot and the Irish potato. I'm going to add a little water to this bowl to add the Irish potato to it because I don't want it to get black. In the meantime, the me cooking. And you're just going to roughly chop it like so like that I like to put carrot inside the pork because you know it have a little sweet flavor to it when you bite inside it so i like to add it and also it add color to the pot finish to cut up all of this okay guys so I'm just stirring it up as you can see and if you can see inside a pot properly I don't know if you can see properly you can see the pork start to spring its own water already so you know this pork is going to be soft so you're not going to need a lot of cooking to finish it so I'm just going to add some water on it and just you know manitize it it smells so good so good and it don't even finish as yet so I'm just cutting up also the seed of the pepper inside it and the garlic I'm just roughly chopping the garlic up Ooh, 
this pepper is hot this pepper is bursting inside my nose and I'm going to put this amount of thyme oh I love the the fragrance the smell of the thyme it smells so good and I'm just going to roughly chop it like so and that's it this is all the seasoning for the pork okay guys so now is the time I'm going to add the carrot and the Irish potato to the pot just like that and I'm going to leave this cook for like five minutes and then I'm going to add the rest of season to the pork Okay guys, so now is the time I'm going to add all the seasoning to the pot. Just like that. Then I'm going to incorporate everything together. And I'm going to add also to the pot some ketchup menace. Some ketchup menace. I'm just going to eyeball it. And I'm going to add it to the sauce mix it in I'm just going to leave it to cook down and infuse all this deliciousness inside the pork <laughs> 